Friends, brothers and sisters, welcome to Pathways of Hope, a daily reflection on the gospel and the hope that it brings to us in these times. My name is Ted and I'll be sharing some insights on the gospel for today. Today is Saturday, August 15, 2020. There are two gospels recommended for today. The first is from Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 to 15. But because we celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of Mary on August 15, we will be considering the gospel reading from Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. In today's gospel, we hear about the meeting of the two mothers, the visit of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. And there Mary is greeted by her cousin with these words, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. It's an exclamation that we find in that familiar prayer, the Hail Mary. And by it, Elizabeth affirms the exaltation of Mary as the one who was made worthy to bear the Son of God, made pure from birth through her immaculate conception. Of course, we also hear Mary's Magnificat, her joyful response to God's call for her to be the mother of our Lord. Mary's Immaculate Conception is significant to understanding the importance of the Assumption. The dogma of Mary's Assumption was pronounced by Pope Pius XII on November 1, 1950, when he pronounced that the Immaculate Mother of God, the Ever-Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory. Mary's assumption was the logical implication of her immaculate conception. From the beginning to the end of her earthly life, Mary lived in total grace. Pius XII speaks of the importance of the assumption to us in these words. We may hope that those who meditate on the glorious example Mary offers us may be more and more convinced of the value of a human life entirely devoted to carrying out the Heavenly Father's will and to bringing good to others. Thus, while the illusory teachings of materialism and the corruption of morals that follows from these teachings threaten to extinguish the light of virtue and to ruin the lives of men, by exciting discord among them, in this magnificent way, all may see clearly to what a lofty goal our bodies and souls are destined. Finally, it is our hope that belief in Mary's bodily assumption into heaven will make our belief in our own resurrection stronger and render it more effective. Mary's assumption thus offers us the additional assurance that we too, who have been baptized into Christ's death and have shared in his body through the Eucharist, also will experience a resurrection of our bodies. Christ points the way forward to a greater, more glorious future in which we are all invited to share. This is reinforced by the truth that already another one from the human race has already followed him into heaven our Blessed Mother. I pray today for the grace to have a faith like Mary's, a faith that allows me to respond joyfully with my own fiat to God, even though I may not understand fully what God is up to. I pray that you may be blessed with the same grace. Friends, if you have been made more hopeful by this short commentary, Please spread that hope by sharing this with your friends. Again, this has been Pathways of Hope. Thank you for listening. God bless us all.